Ferretti Security and Defense is the company. Ferretti Security and Defense is the company of the Ferretti Group created for the construction of special boats used for special services, such as security and defense. How did they come to build boats of this type? Through the construction of over 10,000 yachts. This is the 195 and it can be used for different professional activities. It belongs to a range of dedicated naval units, for example, to coast guards, police forces, patrolling and counter-terrorism activities, and even more. The series includes boats and ships. Planing and displacement is composite or aluminium from 16 to 35 meters. But how is it built? What are its performances? That's what we're about to find out. The FSD-195 is 20 meters long overall. The hull measures 19.5 meters. The light displacement is 30.25 tons, but the hull we will test today has a displacement of 38 tons. It is built by resin infusion vinyl ester vacuum packed over balsa wood in sandwich, but also made with a mixture of glass and carbon, because hulls like this must be robust but light. The longitudinals and flooring do not run only on the bottom of the hull, but also along the sides to give greater strength. And then there are two bulkheads, which create three watertight compartments, to which are added a waterproof forepeak and aft peak, so that a possible floor in one of these rooms does not create any problem of buoyancy of the hull. The stern platform is structural and below it is designed as if it were part of the living work, with shapes that cut the water. And in fact, in navigation, it participates in the dynamic action. This is the pilot area and is equipped with nine seats. Six are super technological, with cushioned seats to ensure the best conditions for the crew. Because if every member is safe, well, he can act in a clearer, more ready and reactive way, even in the most difficult situations. Here the finishes are useless, but carbon is essential. In the engine room, we have two man engines. They are a 12-cylinder, 1900 horsepower. But the modularity of this construction makes it possible to expand this room and also install two 2600 horsepower engines with surface propulsion. Here, there is no home automation, as on some yachts. But they are systems that never break, that always work. I would also put them on my yacht. It is habitable for eight people, ideally for crew members and for operators. The crew room is an operating area complete with multifunctional monitors, but also serves as a canteen. The kitchen is even too luxurious. Minimal, but comfortable. At the bow, there is a cabin with four berths, and there is a cabin for the master with two beds and a private bathroom, complete with a separate shower. On the opposite side, another cabin, even this with a bathroom. In total, there are three. Well, you have to take a breath before being in command of a missile like this, and then do some checks. Angle of the rudder. OK. On the left, it works. On the right, perfect. With the tiller and also with the rudder. OK. OK. Flap control. 
Okay, okay. Okay, they work. E adesso. And now the trims. Most important tool to make it run. Well, I would say that we are there. The engines are warm. Let's go. Okay, per la partenza proviamo a usare il Okay, for the start we try to use the easy set control. It regulates the boat setting and I just have to accelerate. Due motori man, two man engines, 12 V cylinders, 1900 horses, have a very high torque curve from 1200 to 2100 rpm and the maximum value is 6220 newton per meter. Engines at 1,400 rpm, speed 15 knots. It seems incredible, but this 20 meters is already planing. Qui tutto è organizzato perché più persone possano essere coinvolte nella navigazione. Here everything is organized because more people can be involved in navigation. The pilot keeps the gas under control, the trim, the flaps, the tiller, the rudder. But in the side seat, the navigator can control the navigation area. He can speak on the radio, while on the starboard side there is the night viewer for another member of crew dedicated to controlling the navigation area. Tutti i sedili sono super ammortizzati e hanno mille regolazioni. All the seats are super cushioned and have a thousand adjustments. And then these armrests, which seem to be made to hold well. Maybe we should do it. So hold on, because now I give gas. Ok, metto tutto a zero. Flap a zero, trim a zero. Ok, I put everything to zero. Flap to zero, trim to zero. And this way, I look for a cruising pace, let's say. We are at 1,750 rpm. The load on the engines is fairly well distributed. 78% on one engine, 74 on the other. I raise the starboard trim a bit so I bring the same load to the other engine and tell you that the speed at the moment is 38 knots. These 38 tons spread over 20 meters in length are sailing at 38 knots at 1,770 rpm. <laughs> I dare not think where we will arrive. Gas. The acceleration is impressive. I change the course a little because I'm ending up against the Apuan Alps. <laughs> Fabulous! The hull has a dead rise at the stern of 17 degrees and it feels like it cuts the waves very sweetly. It does not copy them, does not follow them, just passes through them. The tiller is very sensitive at this speed. To adjust the route, it is enough to tap. Just be gentle. We are at 2,150 rpm, 49 knots of speed, and now... Now we are giving everything. Let's give the hull and the propellers time, above all to screw in the water and to push the boat. To make it push better, we have to make sure that the load on both engines is 100%, just like now. So let's see where we can get it. A little bit of trim. We pull it out of the water a little bit. Ecco. Here, so we have lightened, less water acting as resistance, and we are running at 52 knots. Ah, fabulous! And what a navigation! Now, I would like to try at this speed to test it in a turn. Maybe I hold a hand on the controls, you never know. I try a turn to the port at this speed. <laughs> it requires a little bit of control, but it can be done. 
I entered the turn at 52 and I went out at 45. Here there is a bit of sea, but feel how soft it is in approaching the wave. I'm passing on my own wake, I just have to drive, drive easily. I return on the route and go back in the wake, and I try the turn to starboard. I had resumed speed and now approach again. I have that skid. Adesso però mi viene voglia di mettermi comodo in poltrona mentre sono alla massima velocità. But now I want to get comfortable in the chair while I'm at full speed and use the tiller to make it turn even more quickly. Oh, si riesce a stringere un raggio di virata you can tighten the turning radius at 50 knots in just over 50 meters. It's very agile. It's about the type of propulsion, but also about this hull, about this project. Then, if at a certain point you can no longer understand what you're doing, there is automatic control. It is true that Ferretti Security and Defence was founded on the experience of the Ferretti Group in the construction of yachts, but I am willing to bet that this type of craft, with their extreme applications, will provide very useful information to further improve the construction of yachts.